फिजियोथेरापी is an ever growing profession the prime role of a physiotherapist is in functional evaluation and treatment of a client to ensure optimal health and functioning many physiotherapists are looking at the clinical application of physiotherapy science for the betterment of our society but we have a rare breed of physiotherapists who are looking beyond clinical practice or uh, into routine treatment into research and innovations Physio TV salutes such creative physiotherapy scientists and brings to you the very first episode of the webinar series of Physio Innovations. Our episode one, Chasing the Ideas, introduces to you three scientists who are not just excellent clinicians but also amazing innovators. Our first physiotherapy innovator for today is a young and wonderful mind, Dr. Pooja Gupta. She is from Bangalore, Karnataka. Pooja has completed her bachelor's from Tehran Physiotherapy College in Navi Mumbai, and presently is pursuing her MPT in cardiovascular and respiratory physiotherapy from Manipal University in Bangalore. She has innovated and patented a vo modified volume-oriented incentive spirometer called SpiroEase, which is especially useful for the visually impaired population. Our second innovator. is dr devyani moghe from satara in maharashtra she is bachelor's from krishna uh, college of physiotherapy in karad and masters in neurophysiotherapy from the same university she also has a fellowship in diabetic foot care and is a prominent clinician at sires physiotherapy clinic in satara ma'am is an innovator and has patented an orthotic device for shoulder joint subluxation for management of uh, the patients with stroke Our third star for today is our very own Dr. Sandeep Bhagwat sir. Sir has done his bachelor's from GMC Nagpur and master's from NUHS Nashik. Sir is currently the director of Nirama Institute of Rehabilitation at Solapur in Maharashtra, and he is also the vice president of the Maharashtra State Council for Occupational Therapy and Physiotherapy. Sir is also a member of Board of Science Board of Studies of NUHS in Nashik. Dr Bhagwat has two patents patents on manually driven stair climbing wheelchair and second on asan a seat for correcting uh, posture and preventing low back pain with this i invite our first speaker dr pooja gupta to share her story and concept pooja ma'am over to you yes sir uh, good, good afternoon to everyone like uh, on the panel and the listeners who are listening to me right now uh i am doc myself dr pooja shalendra lakshmi gupta pursuing right now my masters degree in cardio pulmonary so firstly i would like to thank dr shimpi uh, dr apurva shimpi sir and dr sandeep bhagwat sir for giving us such platform and letting us showcase our innovations also uh, this platform will create a lot of awareness amongst the student as well as the population that whether how the innovations are taken place and how the process of innovations come into picture also this will this platform will also make us uh, understand that physiotherapists can also make a difference in society with their innovations which is very lacked into the society that physiotherapists cannot make a uh, innovations or there is very lack of knowledge regarding this so that this platform is going to give us all this opportunity so thank you sir for all this uh, so now i would like to share how my journey with the, came up with this device and innovation so basically while i was in my third year doing my bachelors so there there was a patient who was 70 year old so that patient was given a incentive spirometer uh, post his surgery for his fit, uh, lung fitness so the patient would was explained very nicely and in detail like how the device will work and how it has to be working but the patient still had some or the other uh, problem with the device to understand despite he was given a repeated in detail explanation of how to use the device and what to do with the device 
the patient was still not able to understand the device and follow the instruction so basically this gave me an idea that patient had some lacking with the device like the patient was unable to understand how to use the device and also the as the patient was using a volume oriented incentive spirometer which is a visual feedback device so also considering the patient's age he was 70 year old patient so he might have some visual impairment with him so because of that he was unable to understand the device which was a visual feedback device so i thought that some modifications could have changed in the device which would lead to patient to understand in a better way that he might do it in a easier manner so with the help of engineers i modified the volume oriented feed, visual feedback device into a auditory and a sensory cue so the device which was which initially a visual feedback it turned up into auditory and a sensory so the patient was given an auditory cue and a sensory cue at the handle to feel the sensation so the patient will not need any assistant for the same the patient can do that device or uh, use that device on his own without any need of assistant so this will help the patient to get the benefits who are visually impaired for in the population and also the people who are uh, you know lacking to understand the visual feedback device so basically this device will help the patient to understand in a better way without any need of visual feel so this is all about how my journey began with the device of spiro ease so with this journey i uh, would also like to thank uh, dr sudeep kale sir who have guided me throughout this and also dr amruta joshi one of my senior pg during my bachelor's they have constantly guided and supported me through this journey and dr sandeep bhagwat sir with patency works and everything and also not forgetting my engineers who have uh, completely made this uh, vision into reality so there were three engineers dr uh, sorry uh, prathamesh kulkarni uh, nikhil nagwekar and chinmay kolhalkar because of them the vision came into reality also last but not the least my parents my family members and my friends who have been in this journey throughout giving me confidence to build up this and get through along this journey so that's all sir from my end and thank you for the patience and inviting us uh, thank you so much uh, ma'am i'm sure we are going to have to we are going to have an entire episode just dedicated to you because we want to know how you really worked across what were your challenges that you encountered and all yes. these things we will we will have an entire session for you uh, yes thank sir. you once again for your insights i invite our second speaker uh, dr devyani moghe ma'am ma'am over to you uh, first of all good morning vanala uh, am i audible to everyone yes ma'am yes ma'am totally uh very good morning and very cheerful morning to all of us uh, uh first of all i would like to thank sanchiti college and sanchiti group and the physio tv uh, dr apurva shimpi sir and dr sandeep bhagwat sir for giving us this opportunity initially it was just a patent just a idea uh it was up to uh, my college my colleagues my friends but now we are going to share this idea with everyone uh, physio across the world and i am very happy to share this with uh, you all this is a short journey with my patent uh, i think creativity is uh, thinking up uh, new things but the innovation is doing something which is uh, having a novelty so in my internship and post graduation most of the time i used to spend in neurophysiotherapy department of my college uh, so that's how i have developed a keen interest in uh, treating neuro patients and doing neuro rehab particular in stroke uh, condition so i observed that uh, standard protocols were given uh, were administered to the patients and the common uh, residual recovery part with that patients were hand functioning uh, which always comes in the late phases of uh, neuro rehab and on the contrary which is the essential part of daily activity for the human being so hand is a very important part of our activities of daily living um, the hand recovery uh, which is a factor uh, actually which hinders the overall recovery in stroke patients and uh, which will increase the hospital stay and also the patients uh, treatment expenditure uh, with the condition so with the guidance of my dean uh, college and my faculty and my co uh, author or my co inventor uh, hod orthotech department dr sahu i start started working on this novelty on this idea and we have developed one uh, or we have invented one uh, device um, and 
on this paucity of the literature i have found i uh, found one innovation then initially i was uh, totally unaware about the intellectual property rights and registering for the device uh, but afterwards university research officer research director and his team guided us throughout for this journey and we designed uh, we patented a design uh, after application within almost a year we got the grant from the indian patent registry for this device now currently we are working on the technology transferring part and the startup part of this innovation uh, in this journey initially the roads were uh, unknown but the vision was clear that i wanted to do something good for the society and for betterment of society and also for betterment of my noble profession physiotherapy so that's how that vision and that idea came into picture and with the god's grace in this journey constant support from my family members my staff my friends uh, constant working on this innovative idea meeting new people learning something new and never losing the hope with the innovation uh, this formula worked well into the success uh, for this innovation at the end i just want to quote one hindi uh, saying that's manzil mil hi jayegi bhatakte bhatakte gumrah to wo hai jo ghar se nikalne nikalte hi nahi so i just want to thank you all for patiently listening to short story of my innovation and i would like to uh, further uh, talk with all you people uh, thank you sir thanks a lot thank you so much ma'am i think that was really very inspiring and motivating the way you said it and and it's really true that uh, you know you never realize that a small idea which has a very good clinical application can turn out to be something so magnificent and so beautiful thank you so much for uh, accepting our invitation and being over here i now request our third speaker dr bhagwat sir to share your story i think sir we have many of us have heard you but then it's again a wonderful thing to hear you again and again so so please over to you yes thank you dr apurva uh my colleagues puja innovator and uh, devan it's a pleasure to have you in the panel discussion it's a wonderful time today this morning uh, a good sunday morning uh, we are discussing physio innovations is really a very very different idea altogether and uh, dr apurva has taken the lead to bring us all together and coming together is just a beginning and then working together is progress and we will definitely succeed in our uh, thoughts and this is our contribution to the profession and for the betterment of the society innovation is something uh, it's not something off bit everybody can innovate and uh, we should be able to motivate our uh, physio students rather to think as they have very creative ideas and uh, we should move ahead from the routine curriculum or academics to this extra curricular activity and as sancheti academy has already taken a lead in this uh, subject they should show there should be a path show the path for all this young budding physio innovators this journey is not very easy you have to be very persistent uh, in your approach you have to be very dedicated once you have an idea there are a lot of hurdles in this journey but persistent is the name of the game to begin with my story uh, i have two patents registered in my name one is uh, a manually driven stair climbing wheelchair and second one is an asan and short i will elaborate uh, both the ideas how i came across these ideas and how they are now a near products firstly uh, my clinic is in the basement and we have 14 steps and when patient used to see me they always used to used to say me that you are looking after disability and this is a barrier why don't you think we thought a lot about it uh, stair lift uh, and many other options but they were very expensive in my early days of practice uh, then an engineering college student approached me he was a mtech student and he said i want to be a part of your innovation and he had an idea of a wheelchair 
a stair climbing wheelchair and then i said yes your idea is correct but you should make it a very affordable solution for our society and then he came, he worked a lot he did a review of literature and came up with a manually driven uh, stair climbing wheelchair and it was just an idea a prototype and it took two long years to come to a level where it, we could test the prototype and then we found out a uh, industrial partner and industrial partner is also on board with us and then we registered a patent and then we started sharing it with our physio friends and then the idea was very appreciated and then the market was a huge market this idea was selected for a grant from government of india we received a grant of 15 lakh rupees and we took it further to the next level we have some uh, difficulties in prototyping and we are very near to the product and i hope it will soon be helpful to the society during this uh, making we had an idea that it should be an affordable solution because stair climbing wheelchair is already available in the market and they are really very very expensive and our society cannot afford this solution so we thought an affordable solution where we can fold it we can carry it it should be portable uh, you should be able to use it across all the staircases and it it has really worked our all the, we got all the answers which we had initially in our mind uh, now a, a, a difficulty is the braking system when it is just climbing down the stairs and we are working on it with the team of engineers and once the solution we get a solution for it we will soon come up with a product and it will not only be helpful to the indian market or the indian patients but across the sarc countries and the market is just huge it's unimaginable when we think of the market but it should help the patient the end user should be benefited that is what is in our mind secondly the asan which we developed some a group of engineering students approached me and they said they want to make a wearable for a uh, wearable as a solution to prevent back pain i said uh, nobody will wear your wearable instead why can't you make a seatable and the idea was appreciated by the guide and we started making a seatable as we developed a seat and as i said there are hurdles in making the prototype but we were persistent and we, the students could design a seat for the chair the seat is a very simple seat which we normally see which it is ergonomically designed but we have sensors and these sensors actually uh, measure the weight when we sit and when we sit unequal on our uh, ischial tuberosities this leads to back pain this was our thought or a hypothesis and we should sit equal on our ischial tuberosities and then they designed us four sensors with uh, adreno nano these four sensors calculate the pressure and it uh, when the pressure is unequal or the force is unequal they give a feedback in the form of vibrations and then you can correct your postures which will help to prevent uh, back pain and as we see uh, most of our population is a very sedentary population in banks in offices in railways and uh, most of the it sector is sedentary and you know sitting is just like new smoking so we wanted to have a solution uh, to prevent back not only back pain but other things we connected it with a mobile app and then you can see the time you are sitting and the correct posture you are sitting that can help you and uh, luckily we were selected the best in the country in the social impact challenge and then we went ahead the students went ahead with uh, registering it the uh, as a patent we re recently received this patent approval on 14th of february this year and when i discussed with uh, dr apurva he was very happy to 
listened to the idea of patenting and today he has brought us all together and with with this we have very uh, good ideas when we discussed with uh, dr arpurva to bring all the physios to motivate to ignite the fire uh, amongst this budding physios to innovate to contribute to the profession and this will definitely we are thinking on lines with having an innovation hub at uh, sancheti academy and i am very sure with this they will uh, uh, support these fi budding physios budding innovator physios with the concept of uh, innovation for the profession innovate for the profession punch lines which we were discussing think innovate create contribute to your profession give back to the society and with this punch lines we will definitely uh, be into action also we really want to support our budding innovator physios uh, to come together we want to have a incubation center at uh, sancheti and i am very sure they will also support this incubation center uh, the incubation uh, innovation hub at very centrally located we want to connect with all the uh, academicians uh, colleges to be a part of this incubation center maybe this will be one of its kind for physiotherapy in the country and surely this will be able we, uh, this center we will be able to contribute back to the profession we want to have a hand holding for these young physios uh, mentoring sessions we have to we want to have an interdisciplinary sessions for these physios we the physios who have already contributed as with their innovations we definitely support this budding physio to take it to the next level and uh, apurva and sancheti academy uh, will definitely help us in our journey and the thought over to you apurva thank you thank you so much sir i mean it was it always has been extremely motivating to listen to you i think this entire session would not have taken place had we not come across this discussion of how we can actually seek uh, innovators in our profession i myself uh, i am i am very happy to say have also contributed not to an innovation but to a clinical test a clinic development of a clinical test which we have published in uh, literature as the shimpies prone si joint test for diagnosing of the sacroiliac joint dysfunction but knowing that we have equal minded people in the profession itself is a very uh, good thing and thanks to you uh, we managed to connect with dr devyani ma'am and dr pooja ma'am uh, so physio tv has more than 7 to 8000 viewers and i appeal to many of them who may have uh, done or contributed in some innovations or some patenting or in some process of working you have any ideas you want to be with us on physio tv you want to share your story how you came across you are uh, more than welcome to join us uh, you can write to us on uh, physio tv official at gmail.com or you can even put it as a comment uh, on this particular we are live on youtube also so you can put a comment on this so that we can also you know kind of connect to you you may give your email id so we can also include you as a part of a group or a forum which uh, we are talking on innovations uh before we go on further i just have some small questions for all of you all for to dr pooja yes uh, ma'am uh, when you did your study or when you are actually went through your publication you are just a third year student many of our third years or final years can't even come up with a good research idea what really gave you that drive and uh, what was the feeling when you actually came up with this particular solution what how did you feel when all this uh, went through so actually uh, i had uh, come across a lot of patient like this the older population and also one or one or two time i had seen to blind population on also and what this incentive spirometer is very useful for patients like post surgery every patient has been given this device so that they do not have some other lung complications and they maintain their airways and everything so it plays an important role 
so while i could not could not give the patient a best of it while they need it so that was where it gave me a think like i should think on it that they should get also benefit they should not be left out whether if they have a visual impairment or they are not able to cope up with it so there should be something which should make change we should make changes as a physiotherapist we always all the time we make innovation we try to assess we try to change things so that's what gave me an idea like i should think on this also there should be something so i had a lot of ideas firstly i thought of thermal like whether it should be thermal bases then there should be sensory or whether it should be auditory so lot of ideas came into picture and lot of things i had to communicate with the engineers like how it will work this will work or no this device should be also like cheap people like it should not be too expensive for the uh, population it should be easily available to the population so it should be something very uh, what we say uh, for the population not for the user friendly or so ha yeah it has to be very friendly for the population and also it should be not too complex so that they do not understand because it's already a little complex for visually impaired population because it's a visual feedback device so i want them to be very at ease so that they use it without any need of assistance and without any help so that what also gave me a kick to like you know think about for the population who are not just been you know taken care about like they're left over because it, it never nobody thought about it i googled it like is there something related to it that patients are not getting or is there something which can help them so there was nothing regarding for at least incentive spirometer there was nothing like that so that which came up i kept on thinking about it like how to work upon it how should i make changes and what should i make changes so that will be very feasible and easy for the patients to use that so that's so, what yeah i, I really I admire and congratulate you and your guide that at such a young stage you know you are really an inspiration for us because when we actually think of innovations is something that you know you can do at a very old age or something you at such a young age managed to not just develop a product which was really patient use user friendly but also patient it and get a product on your it's really a very commendable uh, i have a question both for uh devyani ma'am and bhagwat sir both of you are practicing clinicians and you know as we always say physios we are very busy especially in clinical practice you really have to manage your entire clinical setup your patient client care and everything how how did you really get time for coming up with you know innovations or so devyani ma'am first uh sir actually this idea uh, came into mind uh, in my mind in my pg days in my post graduation days so it was basically it was my pg thesis and i started working in my college days only and uh, till this stage i uh, got the patent and now i am clinician so working further more for that product but initially that idea has came into mind in my pg days only so that time in student phase i failed some difficulties in treating patient uh, basically my college setup was in rural area so rural area people mostly they are dependent on daily wages or they will work in a farm and if at all they are getting a stroke that to the dominant side stroke so it will be very difficult for them to work in a farm with that hand or something for their day to day uh, wages or day to day life they have to earn something so hmm. i got this idea from that difficulty or that uh, what we can say uh, परेशानी जो पेशेंट का था उससे मुझे वो आइडिया आया कि वी कैन गो फर्दर वी कैन हेल्प देम बिकॉज इन मेट्रोपोलिटियन सिटीज फिजियोथेरापी इज मच मोर वेल वेल नोन है पेशेंट को अवेयरनेस है बट इन रूरल एरिया दे आर क्वाइट अन अवेयर अबाउट दी ट्रीटमेंट प्रोटोकॉल्स एंड हाउ टू अप्रोच अ फिजियोथेरापिस्ट एंड वाई टू अप्रोच अ फिजियोथेरापिस्ट Uh, so at the early intervention if we treat such a patients it will be helpful for them and jaise initially it was the idea ki uh, once a patient gets stroke he will be bedridden he will be uh, paralyzed he will be on the bed he will not work in his daily activities or he will be not uh, useful uh, hmm. in the sense of uh, something he will not get any income because of his difficulties deformities but i wanted to change that idea if we intervene a physiotherapy in early phases of stroke rehab patient can get back to work very soon 
that was the idea into my mind so i have developed this uh, innovation particular great Thank so you. so at the time when what do you sir yeah the pgs are thinking of how to complete their dissertation and how to you know pass their exams you were focused on patient care and betterment of the patient in a very good way so i think these these are inspirations in front of us a, a undergrad student who thought about you know something in a better way out of the box a post grad student who thought about patient development in a better way and now sir a, a busy practicing clinician who i mean uh, i i did not read your entire bio data but if i go to read dr bhagwat sir's bio data it will take like the entire session for us so somebody who is so so busy you know you have you are a matrix trainer you are done in endo light trainer you are, you are so much into so many things how do you really get time for coming up with these patients apurva let me be very honest uh, first thing you have to be very passionate about your profession and then you are then you should have a thought to contribute back to the society this society has given me all that i am today and that really drives me every time thirdly i always keep my ears open to what the patient really says and what the patient really wants uh as as i said we have to give back to the society but you have to understand the problem hmm. what happens sometimes when we are clinicians we are a uh, sort of uh, a fixed protocol that we always follow but when we listen to the patient we understand the problem from the patient's side true true and when you understand this problem you have to think of the solution nobody else can think of a solution because you are an expert in your profession as i was dealing with endolite and i used to see these amputees and these amputees used to say me that how can i climb down the stairs you are having these stairs and if you are really a uh, thinking about it then you will see are yes i have to do something to ease out the problem hmm. so you have to make up you have to understand the problem statement of the patient he he tells you what he wants but if you listen very carefully to the patient he also has a solution he also gives you a hint to the problem and a solution and once you start working on it you have to make a team it should be an interdisciplinary team as we discussed we have engineers on board we have patent attorneys we have to talk to numerous other individuals who are the stakeholders for the product and then you start getting up clues to your solution and then finally you come up with a good solution which is a product and which you which takes you to a different level financially also but before that the satisfaction of giving back to the society as i say it is uttarai hmm. that i am doing by contributing to the society and this is how physios should think of giving back to the society not with just the therapy or an exercise program but a solution which is not in the books which is not known solution and that is an innovation it always starts with an idea to overcome a problem and it takes you to the product product is just an end product of the journey and it is the destination of your idea but if you are persistent with your ideas there you will face failures you will have failures and as you have rightly pointed out i am a busy practitioner but if if that is your hobby and if that is your passion passion you get people you get like minded people you always have to keep that idea on in your mind and then you have to make a team of all these individual and as uh, chetan bhagat says you have to connect the dots and when you connect the dots it finally comes as a product what even puja would agree with me and devan you also would agree with me that it it is connecting dots but you have to be at the center to connect all these 
dots at the right time they they will not as i said engineering college will not think of a solution of mm. stair climbing wheelchair but you have to make use of their knowledge the principles of engineering the principles of mathematics for a product which is going to benefit the society so you have to make a chain of all these uh, good like minded physios to come up with a product and a busy practitioner is it's ultimately you are contributing to the profession to the society so in this way also you are contributing back to the society right so practitioner busy is uh, not the excuse i think so so that's really a very great thing and as uh, per, as what we had discussed previous time and this is for all our audiences uh, we will be coming up with further episodes on uh, physio innovation on uh, we will have a patent attorney who will be addressing you all as to how the component of patents need to be taken care of we will have somebody from the engineering field directing us as how the product can be created or worked on we will try and incorporate maybe a startup for you know how we can commit to as a uh, as a product uh, how transfer of technology can be done we we might have somebody who can be a mentor who will be coming here and guiding us and i'm very sure are uh, these three innovators and many of you who have contributed i actually personally know couple of our own students from sancheti uh, i i i can tell about uh, dr shubhankar uh, i can tell about a uh, couple of more who actually have worked on certain products which are kind of useful for the population and i will appeal this fan india if you are interested in being a part we are working on development of a physio innovation hub uh, write to us on physiotvofficial@gmail.com or connect to us on this particular uh, youtube uh, before we end this program uh, a last one liner message from each of our speakers dr pooja uh, so firstly uh, thank you for giving this platform to us and letting the student know because as i was a student i had faced all this difficulty of not knowing the panel discussions and not knowing about uh, where the uh, device has to go and how it will go on forward with the lawyers and with the engineers so thank you for giving the students this platform to know about this how it will go so my is like one liner is like you believe in yourself and it works out that's that's really beautiful ma'am dr devi and uh so thank you for giving this opportunity and uh, just one liner i can say well begin is half done so we have to just start something to do we have to have an idea and we just have to work consistently on that idea and we will definitely get the success so uh, that is my one liner thank you sir thank you so much sir. and sir bhagwat sir since you have two patents two liners for you yes <laughs> good that you gave me two lines <laughs> uh, firstly i would say that we need thinking physiotherapists and uh, think innovate and create and this is uh, my message to the, the budding innovating physios to come join hands we will help you we will support you we will take you to the next level as we have already completed a journey we will be able to guide you and uh, hand holding uh, we even need venture capitalist uh, in uh, in our on our board and we will soon come up with an incubation center a physio incubation center a physio innovation hub at sancheti academy and apurva you have already taken the lead but you should keep on leading that is what i would uh, say and thank you very much uh, for bringing all, all of us together let's meet soon thank you thank you so much dr pooja dr devyani and dr sandeep bhagwat for accepting our invitation on behalf of physio tv i thank our uh, the, uh, chairman dr parak sancheti for getting us this platform so that we can have all of you coming together i thank uh, dr ashok sham who worked on the concept of physio tv for us all physiotherapists and i thank our technical team dr tushar and dr dikita who actually helped us broadcast this particular session and events to the population across 
So on behalf of Physio TV, I thank all our speakers and the organizing team for getting this event. And uh, take care, all of you. Stay safe and God bless you all. Have a wonderful day ahead. Thank you. Thank you. To share, sir, we can stop the record. Uh, I will be will be exiting this particular meeting. We'll be exiting this particular meeting and we'll connect once again over Zoom to discuss on further ideas and plans. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Have a wonderful day, sir. Have a good Sunday.